This is a LaFish aerobatic slope sawer designed by Steve Lang. And to achieve the crazy aerobatics, you need to set it up with really large throws on all the control surfaces, which makes it pretty hard to fly when you're first starting. So having dual rates or even triple rates set up on a switch uh, can make life a lot easier. But I want to try having rates continuously adjustable on a knob. I'll show how to program it on my Turnigy 9X with uh, OpenTX firmware. And I've moved the P1 potentiometer from the top left over onto the side uh, where it's much easier to access while you're flying. In the sticks screen, or the input screen it's called now, this is how you'd normally set up a, a three position switch to, uh, for triple rates, uh, switching between 170 and 50% weight on the aileron in this case. But I want to have it smoothly adjustable by using the P1 potentiometer. And to do that we need to use a global variable. So what's a global variable? Well, it's a bit like a weight value that hasn't been set. You can change it while you're flying via a, a knob or a stick or a channel output or something like that. So let's get to it. We go to the sticks screen and I'll just set it up for the aileron at the moment. And with a long press of the menu button, you can change the weight from a number to a global variable. Uh, and there's five of them you can choose. I'll put a bit of expo in as well, just for the demo. Now if we just assign the P1 pot to adjust the global variable, we'd be adjusting it from minus 100 to plus 100, which isn't what we want. We want it from 50 to 100. And to achieve that, we need to do something tricky. We need to use a helper channel or a spare channel that we can uh, assign a curve to to limit the output from 50 to 100. I'm choosing channel 10 and the source will be the P1 pot. And then I'll assign a curve. So I know curve 5 is free, so I'll scroll down to curve 5, and then I'll go and adjust curve 5 to be what I want. So that's the first point at 50, second point 75, and final point 100. And finally we need to set it up so that global value 1 is determined by the output of channel 10. So in custom functions we choose on and then adjust global value 1 and then with a long press of the menu button you can choose channel 10 and then finally the checkbox to activate it and we're all done. Now back in the stick screen we'll check how that works. So you can see by adjusting P1 now you can smoothly adjust the aileron rates. Now just quickly those steps again. Uh, in the sticks menu you assign global value 1 instead of a weight and to get the right range we use a helper channel, source P1 and a curve to limit the output and finally in custom functions we choose the helper channel to adjust the global value.